afternoon how are you i'm good how are you very well thank you so have you gone through the topic of the day uh yes i did i think it is about uh, if you get a chance to become president of india correct for yes yes so are you comfortable should we start with that yes we can talk about that great okay so uh let's start with a couple of idioms okay maybe you can use these idioms later in your conversation okay so okay. i'll just introduce a couple of idioms first the first one is crying for the moon have you ever heard of this crying for the moon is like uh, asking for something which is not possible or which yes. is yes yes very good crying for the moon uh, means to ask for something that is rather difficult okay so we can use it in a sentence by saying you are crying for the moon for this concert tickets okay right next mm -hmm. one is read between the lines read between the lines no i don't know okay read between the lines means understanding the real message behind something so you know sometimes we are not able to say something directly so we say some sentences which mean the same but we put it in an indirect way okay. so in that case we can use this idiom that read between the lines understand what i am saying even okay. though i have not said it directly okay okay mm -hmm. so for example if you try to read between the lines her song is actually about me okay understood yeah okay now uh, can you tell me a couple of lines about president who is a president a uh, current president of uh, india is uh, draupadi murmu ma'am and uh, okay. i think she has been president of india from july 2022 and she is uh, the 15th president of india okay so uh, basically the president is of a democratic nation has a lot of powers yeah. as well as responsibilities right yes these politicians are very important and has a lot of people monitoring them at all times yes now you have to imagine that you if you were the president of a country right now how different your life would be from the one that you lead right okay so um if i if i were the president of india then my life would turn upside upside down because okay. uh, the president of uh, a democratic uh, country comes with a lot of powers as well as responsibilities on their shoulder so i think being a commoner for a long time and uh, was not expecting to come in this profession that is politics it would be very difficult for me to uh, i think uh, take take care of the nation or to perform the responsibilities uh, which has uh, which needs to be performed as a president and uh, since it, it, it is a like it's a very um, powerful i think place being a president yes. of of a country so i think uh, you would you would be monitored all the time by the media and uh, of course by the uh, opponents so uh, i think being in limelight all the time uh, is a very um, this is the first thing and the second thing is that responsibilities all the time uh the the country is watching you and trusting you a lot so to maintain their trust uh for the time being uh till you are the president like uh, uh yeah for the time being and uh, yeah these are the few things i think uh, you would be able you should be able to deliver whatever is expected from you than being in a limelight and uh, uh okay behaving good with the media people right yeah. okay so your points were clear but there were a couple of mistakes which i will just point out okay 
Sure. First thing you said, it's a very important place. Instead of place, we will use the word position. Position, yeah. Okay. So, and then you said perform the responsibilities. We never perform the responsibilities. We either carry out the responsibilities or we abide by the responsibilities and duties of being a president. Abide means we follow. We are truthful to the responsibilities that are bestowed upon us. Okay. Okay. What are the two things that you would immediately change as you become the president? Uh, changes, I think. I am not sure about the changes right now because there are so many things which you may not, not like about the law. Being but then, uh, the but couple of uh, things that you know come straight to your mind when I ask you things which should be changed in our country. So if you get the power to do that, what I would think, you think I about? would like I would like to um, implement a law like for to control the population. Okay. I think which is not a okay. uh, uh, easy thing, uh, but yeah. um, of course I think population is the biggest problem. Problem. Uh, currently, so I would implement a law, uh, okay. strict law to control the population. So yeah. Okay. This would be but, one. What would what yeah. would the second thing that you would Want to uh, I think being a um, being a part of young generation, I would like to change the um, law of uh, you know that um, age limit for marriage, like age limit or I okay. don't know, like the uh, what should I say? Age limit. Have a, say, that's right. Age limit is fine. Okay, right. Yeah. So, like for eighteen years for girls and for twenty-two years uh, yeah. for boys, I think I would like to um, Make change it. 21. Or, yeah, twenty-one or or I think more than that because being okay. a part of uh, like in uh, currently, I, I feel that I think uh, after twenty-two only you get maturity to understand the things uh, uh, to live your life or to take responsibilities okay. i think being a girl so i think okay. 18 years just uh, you have finished your teenage and you don't even know how to like yeah how to uh, be uh, like yeah you you haven't even um, figure out what you want to do in your life and you are ready to get married so i think of course, you are not uh, forced to get married uh, at 18 or after 18. But since the law is saying that you can get married after 18, so at a, in some parts of India, you you are like, yeah, you are indirectly forced to get married. I can say that. Okay. Okay. You have not yet figured out. Figured yeah. out will be the word, not figure out. Okay, because yeah, we're talking about past years. So you have not yet figured out what you want to do with your life, and still you are eligible to get married. So that is uh, something which is not acceptable to you personally, right? Right. Yeah. So how old are you, if I may ask? I think I am ready to get married. Of course, not eighteen uh, or twenty-two, but uh, I. That's why. Uh, that's why I think I have come up with this point that even after uh, I have crossed the uh, age limit as per law, I don't. I still don't feel like getting married, or I okay. feel like I'm not yet ready to um, be a part of some be a part of a marriage, yeah. or or I can uh, get all the. I can. Yeah, I am not. I don't feel I am. Um, ready to take all the responsibilities uh, okay. when it comes to marriage. Fair yeah. So that point comes from your experience, which is uh, pretty justified. Exactly. Okay. Now let's get to the vocabulary related to this topic. I'll ask you a few words. Tell me if you know the meaning of these sure. words. Okay. First word is alumni. Okay. So alumni is something uh, uh, I think. Uh, mm, Students who have been graduated or something from the college. Yes. Students who have graduated, completed their studies from the college, they become the alumni members of that college or university. Okay. Okay. Second word is coral. 
quarrel means uh, fights arguments about yes, disagreement uh, for uh, for particular disagreement between two two or more people about anything right next word is delicacy delicacy is i think something is uh, if you like uh, for an example a taste of a food a lot so in that terms i think you use word delicacy Uh, yes it is uh, related to food but when we talk uh, precisely delicacy means something especially rare or expensive that is good to eat okay okay something which is expensive or something which you find rarely okay okay an eatable an item and a dish that is known as a delicacy something which is expensive or something which is not found easily Uh, do we use this word uh, for um, uh, uh, humans also? Like, if someone no, is no. Uh, too much pampered, what we say then? No. Delicate. Delicate. Yeah, delicate is the word we use for humans, right? If someone is uh, too much But pampered, but you can't use form. the word for this uh, in this context when you are saying. If no, no. Person, I'm just asking you. I just. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. That's what I'm trying to explain. That if a person is pampered a lot. in that case also you can't use the word delicate okay yes we do use delicate for people generally that he she is a delicate girl you know mm -hmm. someone who gets hurt easily who is very emotional who is not uh, physically strong you know mm -hmm. these yeah. attributes are the ones for which for whom we use delicate but not some for someone who is pampered a lot okay 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 and let's yeah. like take the last word of the day which is diffuse diffuse uh, uh, no i'm not sure about this okay diffuse means to uh, spread in many directions so okay. something which is spread out in many directions or in many categories and not directed in just one place or one direction you know so that in that way we can use the word diffuse okay for example i have diffused my new collection in all the branches in my city okay okay understood does it mean introduced no 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 or launched Diffuse means spread out i have not kept okay. my new collection in just one store i have okay spread it out in all the stores in the city okay okay, okay. yeah okay so we have almost covered the entire time before giving the feedback tell me if you have any queries or doubts uh i just want to ask you one thing how like what is the meaning of word vulnerable and how we can use it because okay. i think i have heard it many or times but i can't find the meaning exactly okay see vulnerable first i'll tell you the meaning okay vulnerable means a person who is able to express his or her thoughts emotions feelings without any thought he doesn't think that oh what this person will think or what she will you know how she will judge me he is just able to express her or his thoughts that is known as vulnerable one if you use it in this context okay and second meaning of vulnerable is someone who is liable to higher penalties Okay. Okay. Someone who is exposed to the possibility of being attacked. Okay. Second okay. one is quite confusing. I'll tell you. I'll tell you a sentence for that context. Uh, all the girls in the village, on this particular village, say any name. All the girls in this village are are vulnerable. Means they are exposed to being attacked any time. Okay. Uh, does it mean they are not safe yes in this okay. context it means it, they are not safe but if you use it in the previous context you can use it for any person and in the previous context in fact being vulnerable is a good thing yeah right so right so yes we can use it feelings. yes depends on the context you are talking about okay okay maybe okay. that is the reason i got confused because uh, it might have used in two different contexts and i am relating to only the first yeah. one like 
expressing your thoughts without any uh, bound, boundaries or any limitation yeah. without any fear of getting judged okay okay, okay. thank you so much yeah yeah no problem let's quickly get to the feedback so you were trying to speak sentences without any errors you were cautious of what you are saying that is a good thing keep it up 